Bang, so bang. Biggie's going crazy about this beat and this other beat. And I was just like, yo, I'm going to record this tonight. Cause it's high daytime and he's wilding for the whole session. And I'm just like, I don't really want to hear you talk about this no more. I'm like, yo, come to the studio and wait outside. You got to trust me to go to the studio and wait outside when you biggie right. and you on fire. I go, right. I go upstairs, I track the beat. Jay goes in, he does a record in like 15 minutes. And I'm just, when he comes out the studio, which was dumb, I probably should have said it before he went in. I, when he comes out, I was like, yo, you need to put big on this, man. He was like, I don't know that nigga. And Dame was like, nah, fuck that, we ain't giving Puff no money. And I was just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> He was like, he was like, nah, fuck that. We ain't giving Puff no money, right? And right. and and I respected it, but I was just like, he was like, I don't, I don't know the nigga. And I was like, but you know I do, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, he was like, I mean, you know, I don't know Clark. And and Dame again, fuck that. I ain't giving Puff no money. Wow. And I was like, I respect it, but I was like, I'm going to the bathroom. The bathroom at D&D is in the hallway near the elevators. I go right. down in the elevator. I bring Big back up. We walk in the studio. I'm like, <laughs> Look <cool>. hi, guys. <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh, like, like a little kid, I just walked in and I was just like, I was just like, and Big and Jay did not say a word. They just started laughing. And then Dame goes, yo, Clark, you a funny nigga. And I was just like, Big sit down, Jay sit down play the song, he's like, just play the track. He was like, he was like, you fuck with it? He was like, yeah. So Big J says, yo, play the instrumental. I got the instrumental, it's just playing and playing and playing and Jay is like, Jay goes in the booth. And everything that you hear on the record that Jay did, he did it. So all the spaces, he left it, everything. So he, he spaced it out. All new rhymes, too. That's the crazy part. The yeah. only mm. thing that was saying was No More Mr. Nice Guy. Because mm. that was the name of the song, No More Mr. Nice Guy. Mm. Mm. Before it was Brooklyn's Fine, it was No More Mr. Nice Guy. Mm. Cool. Jay comes back in a, in a studio and he goes, yo, you ready? And he was like, nah, I got to take that home. And he goes, Big goes to me. He was like, yo, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> and I said, I told you you don't write rhymes down. He thinks them. And then he goes and does them. He was like, yo, nigga, that was like 15, 20 minutes. I said, I told you, he don't write no rhymes down. My nigga's the illest. Mm -hmm. He was like, he was like, all right. Takes shit home. Two months later is when he comes and does his verses. Two months, two months? Yes, because he was on the road back and forth or whatever. Right. Two months later, he goes in the booth and does what he does the night before mastering. But the day that they met, they became friends in 1.1 seconds. The next day they shot a video together. What video was that? Um, is it not Can I Live? Uh, Dead Presidents. Dead not Presidents. Dead Presidents. It was the joint where they was at Peter Luger's playing money, playing Monopoly with real money. Oh, what joint? Oh. That ain't Dead Presidents. That is That's Dead, Dead Presidents. That is not Dead Presidents. Yeah, it is. I mean, for Presidents to represent. Yeah, it was playing Monopoly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Dead Presidents. Presidents. All right, well, okay. There it is. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm 55 years old. <laughs> if I don't remember something. But that so, was the next day. After you introduced the day them, they shot Dead Presidents. After I introduced them and the, yeah, the next that, day. Yo, that's my favorite video when everybody pulled out the bricks of money, A, Hove, Big, and who was the fourth yeah. one there? AZ. No, AZ, Hove, Hove Big, Big, and it was the fourth one I there. I think it was Bobby. Was it Bobby Burke? Bobby it was, was the fourth, it was the fourth top, dude right? there. Somebody said it's a lot but, of money but, over there, I'm getting over I do know the rappers that turned down being there, got played out of position, but that's another story, right? <laughs> that's another story. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> take a drink to that. So that's how they met. Y'all right? going, going hard today. Yo, that was always my favorite story. Because I always met. thought that Big was the one that didn't write. Right. No, after he that. He did that he, later. After, after that, he was yeah, like, he I didn't know later. he got it from Jay. Oh, no, he, he got, it's hard to say he got it from Jay. He got it. He was like, oh, I'm not doing that shit no more. 
Wasn't this, Jada the, the originality shit, of that? Wasn't he? Of not writing everybody rap, said yeah, Rue, like, Rue says he got it from Hov. Everybody, Man, everybody got it from Hov. Wayne, he, you know they, what I'm saying? Don't write and rhymes. I got it from that story. Because Jay's saying don't, 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 don't like, write rhymes because they uh, got stories of Earth uh, Gotti uh, saying he gave Jay beats and Jay showed up and just spit the rhyme and never he wrote. Would, he, he called him, he's driving there, he comes in, lays the rhyme and leaves. That's some legendary shit that I heard. I word, wasn't there for. Word. So they said that, 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 that occurred. I think his genius of Jay-Z, if he did write rhymes, it would never come out good. Oh, no, 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 like every time, the, the reason why I think Jay and Sauce Money are the best ghostwriters is because they're the only two ghostwriters that became their subject. Mm. What you mean? So like when you heard the Still shit that DR, Puff yeah. would say that, yeah. that, that, that Sauce wrote, Puff was writing from Sauce. I mean, I mean Sauce was writing from Puff. Puff, right. From you know Puff's what I'm saying? He was like, he wasn't writing a rhyme and saying, here, just go ahead and say it. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 when you hear, what, like, no, 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 no think about this. When you hear what you're going to do, want to be baller, shot, because you go, yeah, that's Jada. You automatically be like, yeah, that's Jada writing Jada. When you hear Still Dre, you don't go, that's Ho. You're like, that's Dre. Black like, yes. yes. Nah. But Dre gave him the but, some but, Dre, us, but Dre said some he gave him the rap. Kind of felt like, some of you who understand that the bars were too good. Right. Yes, but it still felt like him. The but, flow of it. Right. It but felt, Dre, it felt but, like what Dr. Dre would say yeah. if Dre could rap. Right. That's what it sounds like. Right. Like but, when like when you heard I'll be missing you. Like I, I literally had to call Sauce and be like, Sauce. Like you, you became Puff. He was like, right. "That's how you gotta write." And I was like, "Alright, I'm dead." It is. <laughs> I ain't got right. nothing. That's how you gotta write. He's like, is. "If you're gonna write with somebody, like when you hear out of the world like Mars, when I spit these bars, come fuck with these niggas up in luxury cars." Uh, I'm like, "Damn, Sauce, you really became Puff Daddy." Like, because he would say that boys. if he could rap. Ghetto boys, in case you don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So in these sauce. ghetto streets. Yeah, fire. Um. <sighs> Sauce Money went crazy on Puff's verse. <laughs> Sauce so, Money went crazy on a lot of shit. Sauce Money go crazy. So from there. there. Sauce Money goes crazy. Let's just leave it right there. Brooklyn, Brooklyn's finest is done. Yes, sir. Who you think got that? The rap game? The rap game won. It was, it was a win for the rap game. Look, it, it's literally Brooklyn's finest. Brooklyn's finest rapper. Yeah. Brooklyn's finest DJ, Brooklyn finest MC. Okay. Fire. I like that. I'm literally on the record. Like, I don't. I, yeah. I, I, but it's literally Brooklyn's. Where you're from. All of that. The whole hook is me oh, by myself. See. You don't stop. All the parts is me. Mm -hmm. I'm asking. That's it. Th thanks for shouting out Crown Heights. Well, you know what time that it was, is. Yeah, I'll shout yeah. out Crown Heights and Coney Island, my nigga. <laughs> I got you all the way covered. <laughs> Turn smack rapper, only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth, you heard. Got your baby mama thirst, you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf, you heard.